Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so today we are talking something which I don't cover very often, which is hair colour, men's hair colour. So first things first, well, I would always say, if you're going to try to attempt to do any kind of colour yourself, always prepare yourself by testing a little bit of your hair way in advance so a couple of days in advance even if you have to and i know a lot of people won't like this even if you have to buy two of the product you're, you're intending on using just to make sure that you don't have any reactions or anything like that at all so always just prepare and look after yourself before doing anything like this today we are going to be looking at the l'oreal men expert and this is the shade seven and this is blonde now before anybody fires back at me for well you're not very light no because a number seven, in fact, actually, with them saying a blonde, a number seven, in my opinion, I think a, a six is pretty much a neutral, pretty standard kind of darkish brown. Um, then, of course, bearing in mind the one is black. So right the way up on the scale. So seven is almost like a light brown starting to come through into a dark blonde. So when they say blonde, don't expect it to be a really, really light uh blonde colour because it's it's not going to be. And of course, um, we're going to be going into the details about the colour application and in terms of the colour and how the developing kind of um, assisted the development of the colour. And if it went too dark or if it come light, we're going to have a look at that in just a moment. I don't mean light, I mean as a lighter brown. Okay, so let's talk about this one. So, and why I've wanted to do this. Well, to be quite honest with you, I'm 29 and um, I've had a few, this part of my hair up here, I've had a lot of problems since May of last year of hair loss and hair full. I had quite a triangle all up here of a lot of hair full um, and my hair thinned out a little bit behind the hairline but however it has grown back abundantly with the help of one product I understand um, completely and then other products which has been assisting its regrowth and that the, the supplement I've been taking is by Hair Gain. We're going to be reviewing that shortly. It's been around three and a half months now since I've tried that. I'm going to be coming uh, up with a clip to uh, showcase you the results. Um, so that's going to be really, really good to stand by to watch. Um, so the supplement has been really, really good to help me with my hair with that. There are products by uh, Neoxin anti hair loss spray uh, with sand law for the daytime and the nighttime, the nighttime density with oxidant. Uh, serum. Those two products have been absolutely brilliant. I started using them to really slow and control the loss down. Um, a couple of months ago, I finished that. They were really, really good to put me back on the course of my scalp being a lot more healthier. The hair coming through much more thicker, much more healthier. It's kind of like those thicker terminal hairs rather than that being really soft, downy, like fluff type hair almost. And then if, you, if you're not careful, you can be a little bit too rough with that. Then it just falls out again anyway after you've had some problems with hair fall. Um, I've used a whole host of different shampoos and conditioners, um, all predominantly around hair, uh, thin hair, hair loss, uh, thickening hair. The ones I've absolutely loved has been the uh, Neoxin uh, Natural Hair Thinning and the Progress Thinning. They're the ones which I've really tried to keep on top of as well. Um, and anything else which I've really tried to concentrate on looking after the scalp, looking after the hair full. Forgive me, there is a dog barking in the background. I'm just going to continue talking through that. If you can hear it, I do apologise. Um, so, yeah, so anything which has been aimed at uh, growing through, uh, helping achieve a healthier scalp environment or um, helping thin hair, then I've been really trying to concentrate on using those type of products to get that. But I would ultimately say that it's the supplement and it is the uh, the, the anti-halo sandal oil spray, um, the, the nighttime density and a few other products. But let's get back to colour. So why have I wanted to do this? Well, when some of the hair has come back through, it's come back through very, very light, and some of it is white. Um, now, this may sound strange, but actually back in 2015, I lost a lot of my hair here, um, to a bit like a, um, a golf ball patch in the middle, then a bit thinner on the outside, and then thin behind my hairline. Um, and that grew back, but it come back through white, first of all. Now, this time I think is a little bit different, because from 2015, of course, to 2023, that's eight years. And um, I have naturally got a few hairs which have lost the colour pigment. Um, my twin brother has as well. Well, they're more for him in the back of the head. Uh, for me, it seems to be in the front here. So I, th I thought to myself, I'd really like to kind of get rid of that. When I'm styling my hair, it's a bit pesky, it's a bit annoying. Um, not that it really bothers me, I'm not vain. Um, I do like to look after myself, I like to always look smart, I always like to look presentable. That's just for me, that's for my job. Um, so yeah, so I thought to myself, I'll well, have a look at this. I came across this a couple of months back um, and I thought, I'll bear that in mind, that'd be interesting, because I've done colour myself before, um, 
And then when my hair was lighter and I had uh, highlights throughout my hair, I went to the person who does my hair and um, and that I'm just trying to think how much that would cost me. I've paid up to about £85 for it. So that's been a lot. Um, and then on top of the haircut as well, it is expensive. And then after my hair got quite dry and it started to get quite thin from last May, I had a bit cut off and I had some dark pulled for it just to sort of tone down on the harshness of the drying sort of effect of what blonde can actually do. Um, but of course, even that at times is about £50. So it's super, super expensive. And then I thought, well, there's this product out there for £10. Um, the only thing that puts me off on men's hair colorants is they seem to have a very almost warm, ready kind of base color. And when you go out in the sun, I do find, when I've done it before because I've used um, just for men before, and that was when I had the hair, was back in 2015. I was using that to try and uh, hide the, um, the hair loss which I had and to try and just make that whole appear that appearance of the scalp a little bit more darker and the hair there a little bit more thick with the colour. Because ultimately I find that if you've got finer hair and if you do colour the hair, it seems to pick up all of those little tiny hairs. It makes them look thicker, fuller. Of course don't go crazy with colour and always, as I say, always prepare before jumping in for um using colour if you're gonna do it yourself as well. And take your time with it. Don't rush it. Um, you see so many things online, don't you, about people um, sort of being drunk and colouring their hair or, or in the middle of the night at like two, three o'clock in the morning. Prepare yourself because it's it's not easy, I wouldn't say. Sorry, there was something floating in front of me there. Um, it's it's not necessarily easy if you've not ever done it before. I have. Um, so I'm, 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 I'm OK. I'm not amazing, but I'm OK. So this one here, L'Oreal Men's Expert, it comes with gloves okay so it comes with gloves and it comes with an applicator bottle you have to shake it quite a few times and then there's a black insert in the middle you have to snap that and then it comes through into like a brush now i've done this last night um now i've just put it all in here so it's literally just in a complete mess still but i'm going to show you the bottle without getting that everywhere and it's still here that's really really bad isn't it so that's what i used last night now as you can see it's got it's still got the dye through it, and that's like a brush. So you have to, there's, there was a black sort of stem thing throughout the middle here, and you snap that off, you shake it back and forth, um, and then you just brush it into the roots of your hair. Um, I'm going to dispose of this because I've got a very expensive new jacket on. And some would say that was a bit brave of me doing that. <laughs> um, and I didn't really think that one through. But um, there we go. So I'll put that back in the box. That's just to prove to you that I have used it because you do get comments and everything in here is the gloves and things. It comes with black gloves. Um, it is a men's hair dye. Now, the first thing which I thought to myself when I actually bought this, because I bought that about two months ago, I think now. And when I bought it, um, I mean, me, I, I just I just I just get it and, and go to the counter and that's fine. But actually, I was in my local town centre uh, this morning. Um, getting some things I needed and I went to the boots here in the UK and I happened to walk past all the, where the men's products and the shaving products are and they've got men's head colorants uh, positioned there and there was um, probably a bit younger than me and he's got uh, uh, <laughs> I say a bit younger than me but you could see he was kind of stressing looking at the colors there and then when I walked past he sort of quickly turned around and looked at something and then I happened to be doing um, a few more other bits and pieces in there what I was getting myself and then as I went to the counter uh, he was actually stood behind me and very inconspicuously he was trying to kind of disguise the box and it wasn't this it was a just for men sort of comb I think uh, I think it was like just for men um like a light brown must have been because he had light brown hair um, and I thought to myself do you know what isn't it in a way it's a shame isn't it that actually we we kind of all almost feel a little bit sort of I don't know like that you don't want people to know almost but at the end of the day his hair color it's not, do you know what I mean? It means absolutely nothing. And I absolutely, and I hate that. It's like when, when you feel like that, I have to admit, when I had the hair loss back in 2015, I did feel a bit like that. And, um, and, and it's strange, isn't it? It almost makes you feel quite vulnerable that, oh my God, you're buying a, a hair dyeing product as a man. It's like, it's a no, but actually why, why does it have to be? To be honest, we all want to look our best, don't we? It means absolutely nothing. Some people may see it as quite a feminine thing, but you know what? It's none of no one else's business, to be honest. If you want to colour your hair, whatever colour under the rainbow, to me, as long as you're nice, you're a nice person, as long as you're a, um you're you're good and you look after other people and you're and you're a nice person, you don't do bad things, then what on earth's wrong? It's your hair at the end of the day, it's your life. As long as you're a good person and you're respectful and yeah, you're not nasty or mean to anybody else, then who cares? It's your hair. If you want to colour it, colour it. So yeah, so that that's my view on it anyway. And um and uh yeah, I just I, I 
just thought I would say that as well anyway. But now let's talk more about this product as time's getting on. So this product, do I like it? I don't like the applicating, um, the applicator, sorry. I think that could just be a normal standard bottle because it's quite difficult. Um, the comb is really quite helpful. However, in the end, what I was just doing is squeezing it into the palm with my gloves and then just rubbing it through my hair. Um, it's really simple. I had, I slightly damp, uh, dampened my hair down. Um, and then I started off in the hair line festival where I had the, the sort of, um, the hairs without any color pigment in. Um, and then I started from here, then all the way through to the lengths and ends. My hair's probably about just, just above my shoulders at the moment. Um, and I thought, you know what? Um, let's just go for it. So I'd done that. And then it says on the box and the instructions to leave for five minutes. I left it on for five minutes. Um, but then I was a bit cheeky and I left it on for another five minutes. And you know what? The color I absolutely really, really like. It's natural. It doesn't look like uh, it doesn't look like that stereotypical men's hair dye. It doesn't look like there's a real warmy base color underneath there. However, the one thing I would say what alarms me, I mean, this is shade seven blonde. And when you put it on, it's bright red. It's like a bright red gel. And I thought, oh, God, what on earth is going to be? Is the base going to be really kind of like gingery, quite warm, um, which I didn't want. I like a real cool tone of uh, of like an icy brown almost. And um and yeah, so I was really quite nervous about that. And I thought, let's just do it because it doesn't say anything like that. The color on the box, and I know I should never base anything on that at all. It doesn't look like a warm brown or anything like that at all. It's a nice color. Um, so yeah, it was, it was a good experience, I have to admit. So 10 minutes later, I, I rinsed it through, put some conditioner through, um, and it left my hair incredibly soft and straight away, the shine in my hair was absolutely incredible, and it also gave me a little bit more sort of texture, a bit more volume, but yet it was well nourished, conditioned, felt really, really amazing. And you know, this was £10, and for £10, I had just as better, if not better result, actually, than me paying nearly £85 at the hairdressers, which I'd done for quite a while on and off over the past, I'd say, two years. Um, so yeah, really great product. However, just don't like the applicator. Um, I'm sure L'Oreal will probably change the applicator bottle in due course. There's a whole host of different shades, but I would always say, I mean, they're selling this as blonde number seven. I would say it was a bit darker because if you left this on for longer than 10 minutes, it would probably go jet black. So five minutes could probably be okay if you had really, really light hair. 10 minutes for me, just because the color pigment sort of the hairs have gone quite, um, there was a couple were on this side, which have gone, um, yeah, great, you could say, but <laughs> not necessarily ready to say that, but who cares? So this picked it up really, really good, really nice. I know you can't probably tell, but it looks natural and it feels really, really natural. And in fact, actually, I'm going to show you, I'm just going to, just going to get rid of this jacket at a moment because I'm getting quite hot in here and I'm actually going to show you what, um, what my hair, oh, I hope I didn't, no, for a minute then, I thought I, get rid of that. <laughs> I thought I um I thought I got a dye on the jacket there. So this is the product here. I'm just gonna grab a brush. I'm just gonna show you the colour. So this is my hair and because I've had it done up at the back you're gonna see quite a wave now. But just so you can kind of see, as you can see, it's it's not like a real look at that. <laughs> but but it's just really to give you that sort of look that it, it's actually not it doesn't look like a real dyed. So anybody who's followed me with my channel as well with my hair loss, you'll see that this is much, much thicker now. Much, much thicker. So my hair without the kink, probably about just here. But as you can see, it's a really nice, nice natural colour. And we'll get that out of the way. I thought I was gonna look a bit better. But anyway, it's just to <laughs> it's just to show you what that uh looks like. Um let's get rid of that back quick. Look very good, but it was just to show you because I know a lot of people say, Let's see your hair rather than you talking about a product, let's actually see it, what it looks like. So that was my hair there. Um, because of course I've got it twisted around quite a bit in a top knot sort of style at the back here. Um, it takes a shape and it gets a bit sort of kink like. So in a moment, I'm gonna be because I've got to go out later, I'm gonna be putting that back to how it was just before I'd done that. Um, but ultimately, it's a really great product, it's a really nice color. Um, it doesn't look like you've just colored your hair, which is really, really nice. Um, if of course you want to make a change, then absolutely go straight ahead for it. You could pick darker, you could leave it on until it goes completely black if you wanted to. Um, of course, there's other brands out there you could go lighter, or of course, you can pay the money. Which with blonde, I would always sort of suggest if you're going to go lighter always have it done professionally. If you do feel like risking it yourself, just take your time and do prepare yourself for that. I did prepare myself for this. So I was a little bit, I 
I have to admit, I was a little bit naughty about it. Um, I tried it first thing in the morning, okay, um, on my scalp, and then I'd done that, um, because it does say 48 hours, but I didn't leave for the full length of time, and then by the evening, um, which was, was quite a while, to be honest, I know it wasn't 48 hours, but it was quite a while, and I would have thought if I'd have had any issues then, I know somebody will probably come back to me about that as well, but I have seen reactions from hair dyes, I remember my um, my dear Nan, and um, she had a very, very severe reaction from hair dye many years ago, um, so I've seen what that actually done to her, and heard about it, um, with what she actually went through, and it wasn't... Um, it certainly wasn't pleasant, so always do prepare yourself, and safety first on that. Um, but I'm not going to tell you, do you know what I mean? If if you know your if you know your hair, you know your sense of product you've used for a long time, then you're going to be the best judgment for that. Okay, so this really great product, really recommend it. I really like it. I like the result I've got. I hope you've enjoyed this clip. If you do have any questions at all for me, please leave them down below, and I'll do my utmost best to come back to you as quick as I can. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for all just everything. I've had so many great comments recently about all sorts of things. I went through a bit of a period with really nasty comments and things on my channel. I've had some really great ones lately, but asking my opinion, asking about different products, asking me even generally how I am. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. It means the world that you are here. Thank you for sharing this with me, and until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now.